Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rohit Kumar, host on Click Digest, and in this video, I'm gonna give you a quick gaming and benchmarks review of the LG G4 that we have been testing for some time. And I'm gonna play two games here: the Asphalt 8 Airborne and the Frontline Commando 2, and gonna show you benchmarks on Antutu 2 and Nina Mark 2. Let's get started. I'll start with the Antutu 2 benchmark scores, and uh, we got 48,166, and somehow it is getting in a non-verified zone. Uh, in terms of uh, specs, this phone is fairly powerful. It is powered with a Snapdragon 808 chipset, which is a Hexaco chipset and is fairly powerful. It comes with uh, a Quad HD display, which is 2560 by 1414 display resolution. It's a fairly powerful processor as well as display. It comes with 3 GB of RAM and there is Adreno GPU powering this device. It comes with a 64-bit processor. It uses the 64-bit OS which is the Android Lollipop 5.1 so it is well optimized for uh, playing games as well as applications in 64-bit mode and giving you a quick overview of the sensors which is very important for gaming it gets direction sensor, G sensor, acceleration, light, e-compass, proximity, gyro, pressure sensor, linear acceleration and rotation vector, vector. so it is fairly loaded when it comes to uh, the sensors that are required for gaming. We also ran Nina Mark 2 test and we got a score of 61 frames per second which is almost perfect, uh, close to perfect that you can get on any phone. I'll first play Asphalt 8 and then we'll switch to the uh, Frontline Commando 2 and find. So by default it is playing in medium quality and let's play it on the default settings only on medium and let's find out how well it plays before we start gaming, let me find out uh, what's the surface temperature like so that uh, we can check how much heat it is dissipating. So towards the earpiece, it's 38, 39 degrees and we are uh, in a non air conditioned sort of environment. It's slightly hot in here. You can see that it's 37 to 38 degrees and towards the rear near the camera module, the temperature is 39 degrees. So this is probably the hottest place. Uh, on the phone which is near the camera module we have registered temperatures of 39.7 degrees let's play this game and find out how much it heats up
and we have finished uh, one level. Let's find out how hot it gets uh, near the rear. So the temperature has risen to around 42 degrees, which is not that bad. The initial temperature was around 39. So it's not a very heavy rise in temperature. Let's uh, play another game, which is the Frontline Commando 2. And now we are playing the Frontline Commando. This is a shooting game. And there is no stuttering of frames at all. It's playing very, very smooth. I'm able to aim and shoot very precisely. It's playing butter smooth on this phone. This chipset is rocking really well when it comes to playing this game. I can control the player with great precision and no troubles at all. And with this uh, we complete the mission. But the phone seems to be heating up a lot. Let me check the temperature again. It's around the same temperature, 41-42 degrees, but near the camera module it is getting a bit hot. So when it comes to gaming, this phone is able to play heaviest of games with ease without any sort of trouble or dropping a sweat. But uh, when it comes to heating, uh, it is moderately heating. I would not say it's heating very much. It is a top-notch performer if you are considering a phone for gaming purpose or you want to play a lot of games on your flagship phone. This is all we have on our quick hands-on gaming review and benchmarks review of the LG G4. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up by pressing the like button below. And for latest video updates from Intellect Digest, make sure to hit the red subscribe button. This is all we have on this one. This is your host Rohit Kurana signing off. Thanks for watching. Yeah.